All right, guys, we're going to do some more Mopar uh, direct connection performance uh, cylinder head work. These are a set of 810, what they, they call the Econo head, because it has the, uh, the bosses that the, the Dodge style rockers can bolt, bolt to. I do believe they need an offset rocker. They've got they've got uh, interesting push rod holes. You can see these have been ported. Were they professionally ported? I guess that's arguable. Overall, it, it's not like he made a lot of mistakes. Just a little lumpy and bumpy, and I don't agree with where he took some metal out. If you take a look. Not easy to see, but I'm going to wire brush that. I'm not sure if that's a radius on that intake. Okay, it's a it's a uh, distinctive cut. It's not a radius. Let me figure out what's going on. Okay, that looks better. He definitely made uh, some mistakes on the exhaust, and uh, I think I'm going to try to uh, rectify that. Can you see? Can you see this 60 right here? It goes to where there is literally no 60 at all. So not not great what I would like to do is recut that 60 narrow that seat a little bit and then uh, do a burr radius on it okay you can see they, they changed the shape of the exhaust quite a bit and uh, judging from the air speeds he did get some improvement out of it, uh, but it's it's a little big for the air it's passing. I'll tell you that much. I mean, it's it's not bad. It's a lot better than the the stock W two, which was in uh, a seven sixty nine casting. But this has a much bigger throat cut into it. I think it's a ninety. This is a 90 throat on, on this exhaust, and the intake is a 91 throat. The chamber size is about the same as regular LA, around 71, 72. The other 769 head has a much tighter chamber. I think it's a 56cc, I think it is. I did a little looking up on, on these. You can find some info on these on the internet, but... Uh, couldn't really find a lot of flow info. Yeah, a couple guys said they poured it up to 300 CFM. That I believe. These these look like... You know what they remind me a little bit of? That set of iron trick, trick flows I think I had. I still have them. Big rectangular. Big rectangular intake. And a, what basically came looked like a, a big E7 exhaust. That didn't move a huge amount of power, uh, a huge amount of air through the exhaust either. But guys would make a lot of power with them. They'd hit that with a lot of nitrous. Okay, uh, camera's giving me more problems than usual tonight. You can see, I don't know. He went through on a couple pinches, so it, it it's had some welding repair work. You can see that one has been repaired. Uh, we're going to take a good look at that and see what we can do with that. I, I don't have a problem doing an epoxy repair on a push rod pinch, especially if I do the uh, the tape measure trick. Okay, the short side radius looks pretty good from from this angle. Okay, intake port really doesn't look bad. It's it's a good size. I uh, I didn't CC these, 
but uh, if you take a look, they put an angle on that uh, short side radius. Now, are they, they all angled? Well, they're not quite the same. That one's angled. Yeah, they are all, they're all angled. They probably come from the factory that way. I didn't get to take a good look at the, the other W2s as far as the angle on the short side radius, but that's, uh, you can change a lot of airflow by changing the angle of, of the short side radius. Okay. So this is the stock W2 that's never been touched. That's the 769. And the one we're looking at now is the 810, which was ported. Uh, I don't know who ported it. But these are the, the flow numbers you guys saw before. We used the same valves, right? The 202, no back cut. 16, no back cut. Let's take a look at a couple key points. We got 176.6, zero swirl. 180, zero swirl. Not a big difference, right? Let's take a look at 500. Zero swirl, 250. 179.6. That's a nice pickup. And let's say 7, uh, 7 7.7. 277.3. 275. 13.08. 2.750. So it loses it over the short side radius more radically on this one than this one. We still have... You got five zeros here, here. You got one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Interesting. So he got a small amount of improvement in flow, but he didn't do great. Let's take a look at, at his, uh, the speeds. Now, he actually opened up the pinch enough to blow through in a couple spots, but yet his speeds are not that much better, right, on that. Now, let's take a look at roof center of the cylinder you got 147 148 almost identical roof wall 243 verse 180 that's huge but look how offset that is so he's getting a lot more he's getting a lot more flow on the straight wall here and if you look at how straight that port is really shouldn't be that way. It should be pretty darn even. Okay, take a look at your short side radius. Really high in the middle, right? High in the middle, but not as high as this. This is really fast. That's faster than I see on most heads. It's very rare. I see 449 feet per second. All right. So he made a small increase on the intake. I'm going to do uh, an intake port, an exhaust port, and a chamber port. And uh, Rob's going to follow up behind me and see what he can do with them. And uh, I'm not going to go all out on it because I don't think Rob wants me to do that. He wants something he can follow. We can always change the game plan later, but I'm willing to bet... If this head right now is, let's say Rob runs it on the street, he runs a six, let's say a 625 lift or something like that, 270, we're going to do a little better on that than 270. And I have no doubt I can improve the exhaust. Take a look at the, the difference between the stock exhaust with the really tight throat at 81% and this one at 90%. All right, 300, you got 148. 149. This is a little better. 500, 201.8, 158. It absolutely dies. It just cannot get, it's too restricted to get the air past that tiny, tiny throat. Okay? So this looks good, but in reality, for the size port it is, it's really not. Okay? You, you can get. <laughs> Literally like a 305 exhaust port practically to almost flow that, uh, if you know what you're doing. The problem with the 305 head is it's really thin and crack prone, so I don't really even work them. But that design, 
could, uh, even though it's a lot smaller, flow practically that. So I'm going to see what I can do on that exhaust port. Take a look at our speeds. The speeds are actually quite a bit better than these speeds, the stockers. The stockers really, really, really low here. This picked up quite a bit. The center is not completely dead. It went up quite a bit here. So as ugly as that exhaust port looks, it's a, a huge step in the right direction. You know, 158 to 201, 42 CFM. Not bad. We can do better, though. All right, guys. I'm actually going to do a little measuring, and I'm going to do a little grinding on these. And uh, hopefully I'll get to uh, reflow at least that one intake, one exhaust for you guys in uh, another day or two. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out, watching this, a little Mopar action on a, a set of heads that, uh, when I originally looked at it, I'm like, man, these remind me a little bit of my bow ties, but in reality there, you should be able to get a way more, way more horsepower out of these than you can get out of a set of Chevy bow ties. Uh, we'll see how we do, guys. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.